something to just keep following that. The bar is looking quite high over there. As we see up the top end near the pole vault, the two steeplechasers, McBurney and also Dare, approaching the water jump for the first time. So a little bit of a contrasting styles there. McBurney just a little bit hesitant in the approach to the water. Dare just charged through. And as a result, came out in head, but McBurney's now taken the lead again as we approach the next barrier. So they'll come through and they've got four laps to go. Juliet McBurney from Wesley leading. So three laps to go there for McBurney. Dare is about 30 to 35 metres back off her. Still hurtling well, but McBurney definitely travelling very well between the barriers. Thanks, James. Big lead here for McBurney, but we did see a bit of a, a spill in the water. Luckily, it was in the water, so cushioned as she went through. Dare just going through the water jump now, so it's a break of about 60 metres at the moment as McBurney comes down. She'll get two laps to go. So in the back straight now, McBurney had a little bit of a peek over the shoulder. I want to see that Emily Dare is about 100 metres behind. So I can't see too much change here unless we have an incident. So McBurney still, as I said, running nicely, actually hurdling the standard hurdles quite well. Still a little bit reluctant as she approaches that water jump. Let's see how she goes on the penultimate jump here. So a little bit more conservative with that one. Very safe, so straight out of the water. As we see Dan now jumping the standard barrier and approaching the water jump. 
So into the home straight, second last time now. Juliet McBurney from Wesley College. She will hear the sound of the bell as she comes past. As we see Dan now going up and over the water jump. So it's quite an extensive lead now, approaching 150 metres. So one lap to go. So Dare coming through now, still running well, and then she will get that welcome sound of the bell and launch herself into that final lap as we look down the back straight. And McBurney, still looking strong, as we said, has been running very well between the barriers. Needs to do a little bit of tidy work on her water jumps, but apart from that, she's steepling very nicely. A little bit of a few mini steps approaching that one, but it's all in protection mode now for Juliet McBurney. She's got a big lead. And just has to safely negotiate two more barriers, and one of those being the water jump as she approaches it right now. So big crowd once again over by the water jump. Yeah, nice and safe up and over there for McBurney. One more barrier to go. So the time just going over seven minutes and Juliet McBurney, she's going to come through to finish this and take the gold medal here in the under 18 competition for 2,000 metres steeple. And look at the pace she puts on towards the end there. Stopping the clock at 7.16.93, unofficial. So well done Juliet McBurney, well deserved gold medal. As we look up and over the final water jump for Emily Dare and for St Leonard's, rounding out, going past the cones now, into the home straight for the last time. One more barrier. Let's get her over that one. So really moving nicely in the home straight and a good hurdle technique there. So Emily Dare over the last barrier. And she'll take the silver medal here in a fairly impressive time. We'll get her under eight minutes. So great running there from Emily Dare from St Leonard's to round out the field.